5,000 kilometers. That's how long the road trip from Raleigh, North Carolina is to Vancouver, a trip the Caroli family were thrilled to do following their son's acceptance at Vancouver Film School. Let's back up the car and go, had a little adventure driving across the country. Roman Caroli was initially supposed to start in the fall, but was accepted earlier in August, leaving him scrambling to find a place to live. When I looked online, this place had verified check marks. The 23-year-old found a rental unit on a site called Harrington Housing, a co-living provider. When they showed up to see the unit, the family says it was not what they were promised. First thing he noticed was the smell. Went back to his room, his designated room, and it's just how are we going to get the smell out of this room? It's very unsanitary, but also on top of being unsanitary, it was also, it didn't feel safe. The two bedroom suite had been subdivided into four bedrooms and the door to Roman's room didn't have a lock. If I'd had a daughter, I would have been extremely uncomfortable leaving her alone in a room like that where she couldn't lock the door. But there's more. Photos show a cardboard wall taped together next to the stove. How does this meet fire code? This can't be right for Canada. How does this meet any kind of building code? That's quite alarming. There are uh, minimum requirements from uh, combustible materials adjacent to stove uh, stovetops in the Vancouver building bylaw, and that does not meet that. We requested an interview with Harrington Housing, and we're told we will receive a response. The unit is located at Ocean Park Place in the West End, run by Canadian Apartment Properties Preet. Capreet says all units in this building adhere to safety standards. It has to be safe housing, and, and the, this is... As for the Carolis, Roman has moved into another building and says this experience won't taint his time here. Isabella Zavarisi, CTV News, Vancouver.